Good evening everyone, it's me again, um, doing another video. I haven't done a cigar video in a while. Ooh, and I got a good one from St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, I'm gonna geotag the place just in case you're ever going down there. Uh, JC, the Cuban roller. Um, yeah, specializing in printing label cigars and hand rolling cigars. Uh, JC the Cuban Roller, Julio Cordero, uh, the best handmade cigars made at best prices. Uh, this cigar, my brother got it a while ago, uh, I think he paid five, six dollars US. In Canadian, that's not a bad price. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a Robusto. There's the label that I'm going to save with my collection of labels. And this smells nice. Don't have a proper lighter. And of course, leave it to me to leave the cedar match or cedar plank in my home. So I'm going to go indoors and get it. Okay, I got my cedar plank this time. So, <clears throat> don't know much about this cigar shop. I haven't had a hand rolled cigar from Florida in a long time. As far as a hand-rolled cigar, the last time I had one from a good place I like going to in Toronto. Sorry about that, I have a habit of spitting. It's not bad, it's pretty good. And it's a pretty decent Robusto, so I definitely like this. And if you can hear in the background, it's raining, but it's almost spring. Yeah, this is nice. I definitely enjoy this. I just wish I had some liqueur to go with this, but yeah, overall, the initial draw is decent. Lights well. Good leaf, good color. Yeah, so, pretty decent cigar. So yeah, like I said, he's based out of St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, I'll geotag the place, that way you can find him. If you're ever planning to go down to St. Augustine. Uh, but yeah, I definitely enjoy this. Kinda needed this. I don't have any alcohol otherwise I'd pair it with something so thinking like a nice scotch or 40 Creek from Canada yeah overall this is a pretty decent smoke so I'm actually enjoying this and the last time I had a proper hand rolled cigar I was in Miami and I can't remember where I got it in Little Havana but it was nice I actually enjoyed it but yeah uh, my passport's still good as long as my passport's still good I'm gonna make my way down to Florida Get some cigars, if I'm lucky enough to make it to St. Augustine. But yeah, this is nice. I'm enjoying this. Um, yeah, I have... I'm 
yeah, so I don't know much about this guy, but like I said, um, he is JC, the Cuban cigar roller. Julio Cordero is his name. And yeah, as far as hand rolled cigars goes, good construction and wrapped very nicely. Yeah, so I'm in a good place with this. I don't mind it. Uh, the first draw, good burn. Uh, nice staying power. Uh, because I live in Canada, I'm not even sure if he delivers to Canada or if he's able to. Uh, I suppose it doesn't hurt to ask. I had his business card and his phone number, so I could give him a call when I get the chance. Yeah, uh, the, I'm on my front porch, so uh, uh, my porch light went off, but uh, at least I have my uh, portable ring light on my phone. But yeah, don't mind this at all. But. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm very content with this. Uh, like the gentleman's quality and his work. So, and also, the important thing is at least I got some cedar planks just to sort of help with this because lighting a cigar with a cheap little lighter, not the best combo. Otherwise, you're going to be sucking in a lot of fuel. But, yeah, I'm enjoying this. This is nice. Um, and I know that the uh, person that got me this, he's planning a trip possibly down in that area. I'm hoping he can get me some cigars from wherever it is he's going to and I'll geotag the places that way you know where it is and if you want to try them out by all means go for it I just wish I had some scotch to go with this it would just be perfect and I am hoping to do uh, some more trips down the road uh, to um, some cigar shops I like going to, maybe hopefully check out some other cigar shops I haven't been to. Uh, I live in London, Ontario. There's only two proper cigar shops, and they're, they've both been great to me, and I have no problem going back to them any day of the week. And just so I don't lose his label, I'm Kind of hard to see with the glare, but keeping it with me in my collection. <sighs> but yeah, this is a good way to end the night. Um, it's March 16th, otherwise known as Stone Cold Steve Austin Day, or Happy 316. Have you given anyone a stunner? Um, if not, that's fine too. But, yeah, overall, I'm digging this. I'm just gonna light this right here, because it's just starting to just... That's a little better, not by a lot. But yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this. This is a pretty decent stick. Um, I don't know when I'll ever have another hand rolled uh, cigar from Florida again, but 
when I do get them, always welcome them. And uh, just more or less just enjoy the experience just to mellow out. Now I suppose if I don't have scotch, um, a nice coffee will do with it. Uh, a lot of the times coffee will pair very well with cigars. Um, that's one thing I've learned in my stumblings as a cigar smoker. Uh, not an expert, I've been a novice, so. And I'm sorry for the spitting, that's just me. Um, but yeah, yeah, what time is it? Yeah, in 22 minutes, it'll be St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I know the Dropkick Murphys performed tonight in Boston. Um, they did, I gotta more or less give them huge props uh, over the last three years when this pandemic got declared. Um, and I was leaving from, oh, a bunny rabbit. No, I was leaving from my point A to point B. Uh, I remember taking the bus uh, to go where I go, need to go uh, every day. And yeah, it was just a weird feeling uh, shutting down things that day. Hello. Uh, and also just making sure everything was all set up proper and clean. Um, and that way everything was just safe because nobody knew what to expect. The one thing I remember uh, with people asking me what was there going to be for St. Patrick's Day, uh, the one thing I suggested to everyone, there's not going to be a lot of anything going on. Go to your uh, LCBO store. Just pick up a bunch of booze, bring it home. Dropkick Murphys did a secret live stream concert with no one in attendance. It was weird watching that. I had no idea they were where they were performing. Um, since they're from Boston, it's a safe bet that they were performing in Boston. Um, and I still remember just that one guy he was a one-man mosh pit. I so badly wanted to be with that one guy in that pit. And it, it was literally, even though there was no crowd reaction or crowd pump, it was literally the best thing I've seen uh, as far as the show goes. But, um, yeah, the fact that they were were able to do all these live streams with no audience in attendance for as long as they did the last few years. Uh, I think I speak for a lot of people. I am grateful that they did that uh, because they sort of helped give something that people needed and that was live music even though we could not attend. And think music fans, even if you're not a fan of the Dropkick Murphys, uh, I think a lot of us were very grateful for the gesture that they provided. Uh, later in the year, they also did the same thing in Fenway Park, uh, where they performed a no audience in attendance show. And yeah, they, they, they basically nailed it as well at that, uh, with that no audience in attendance concert in Fenway. Because every year on St. Patrick's Day, uh, they always perform in Boston on uh, St. Patrick's Day. Ugh. If I get a chance, if I'm able to make my way down to Boston for St. Patrick's Day, I would love to see my favorite basketball team, Celtics. Uh, if I'm not able to do that, I would love to go see the Dropkick Murphys. Meeting them would be a treat, but realistically, I know that's going to be a bit of a tall order. Um, yeah, so as you can see, about a third of the way through, Ash is held up pretty good. Um, 
kind of a little ashtray there uh, that I kind of use. It's a tin can with a bunch of cigarette butts. Uh, my dad uses it just to keep his butts in there, so it works. Yeah, so. Yeah, I got no qualms about this, so it's pretty decent. So, yeah, as far as this Robusto from uh, JC, yeah, I give it, uh, I give it top notch. Uh, if I was able to have another one of these, uh, I would get together with my friend uh, London Batman, uh, spend about whatever amount of time it takes to smoke this. Uh, that way you can sort of gauge our reactions from bo uh, both of us just to see how we like. But, yeah, so far I'm enjoying this. I'm um, going to do more of these cigar videos to post on YouTube. The one mistake I've been doing, and I'll own up to it, is when I'm doing them solo, I don't finish the cigar and I kind of need to do that some more. Uh, and also because I live with my parents, I'm 47, so just being honest. Um, my mom doesn't like cigar smoke in the house or cigarette smoke in the house, so um, it's courtesy. If they don't like it, just take it outside. Uh, if I had the means, I'd probably go ahead and build a studio, but realistically I don't, so I'm just going to wing it as I can. But, no, nah, this is pretty decent, so it's held up pretty good. And there goes the light, the porch light, but I still have my ring light. So, yeah, overall, this is pretty good. So, it's held up decent. It's a nice, relaxing stick. Uh, it's not harsh. Uh, it's a bit, it's a little bit uh, dry at times, but it's decent. So that's why you got to have a coffee or a good scotch or even a good port. Uh, at this moment, I can't recommend any kind of port. I'm not a scotch drinker. I'm an absinthe drinker, but you know what? Overall, it's decent. I got no qualms with it. Um, so I'd probably try this again. So, yeah, even at the end of the night, good way to end the day uh, if you're a cigar smoker. If you're not, that's fine. So, I know there's a few people I wouldn't mind uh, getting together uh, for more cigar smoking videos. Uh, just because I want to share this with people, plain and simple. And even though I'm going to post this on YouTube, if you need to critique this, by all means, feel free to do so. Um, I don't have a lot of people that follow me on uh, YouTube. I'm trying to, I've had the ch my channel for 12 years, so I'm trying to do so, 12, 13 years. So I'm in the last few years, um, I'm just trying to do something with it. So, yeah, let's see where we're at. About halfway, approximately so. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's held up. It's decent. Uh, it's not a harsh cigar. In life, um, you gotta spend a good amount of time just going around trying to find stuff that works. I never found this, so this was just a blind whim on the person that got me this, because he knows I smoke cigars. He didn't spend a lot, and it's good. And the one thing I can tell you is, when it comes to cigars, you don't have to spend a lot to get a good cigar. Uh, you can spend, my budget per cigar is between um, 15 
and 35 per cigar. I don't like to go any lower than that. Uh, I've lucked out of maybe a small number of times finding cigars at that price point. But yeah, this is nice. It's starting to do that canoe thing again, so. I don't know why cigars canoe um, like that. Uh, if I had an answer, I would. If anyone has an answer, I'd like to know. But, no, this is pretty good. Um, also, another trick, uh, sometimes accessories are expensive. If you can get a paper clip right after you smoke it, just sort of poke it in there, uh, poke some holes in it, it just sort of helps um, with the draw. That way, uh, that way it's just easier to smoke it and a lot more to enjoy. So, yeah, there's that. So, that much I can say for sure. So, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, the only thing I can say is, with it being St. Patrick's Day, if I'm rambling, that's just how I am. Um, have fun, be smart, don't do anything stupid. Um, everyone's still trying to work out whatever uh, issues they have with the, pa with the pandemic right now. I'm not a doctor or an expert, but I think we're on the point of seeing it becoming endemic. I hope. But um, the only thing I could say is after the last three years of a number of close calls I've had with COVID, and having all my vaccinations, I'm just grateful I never caught it. Yeah, so overall, I'm grateful for that um, because I would hate to bring it to my home, especially with my parents getting older. That's the worst thing I would, don't wish on anyone. just have to take the ash down. So this is kind of what I'm left with at the last bit. So it's been over 21 minutes and this is decent. I do have plans to get more cigars. Uh, I don't know where yet. It's just I do have plans. It's being worked out. Um, if it's possible, I'd like to go to a certain place I like a lot in Niagara Falls just to get more cigars um, but yeah as far as this one goes it's not about Ni the cigar shop in Niagara Falls it's about this one in St. Augustine Florida and in spite of the bad rap the state gets just just being well you know it's Florida uh, the people are great um, they're warm, they're inviting. Um, I've talked to a few people, the best time to go to Florida is obviously spring. Uh, the one time I went late August, I got flash fried really badly. And that was not the best experience I've ever had. But yeah, this has been nice, so I kind of enjoy this. So I'll smoke this for about another couple more minutes. And then I'll wrap it up. But when I do finish this in the next couple minutes, I guess I'll give a final thought, final valuation. Mm. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, but yeah, I like this. It's decent. I definitely uh, pick it up again and yeah that's kind of it in a nutshell so uh, no 
know when it warms up a bit I'll probably take this in my backyard um, like much later in the year uh, that way I could sit in my backyard enjoy and uh, you can not have to worry about me being on my uh, front porch so uh. Whew, excuse me I just got some hiccups so yeah um, I'm digging this so I don't mind this it's decent. So, yeah. Kind of just have a look to see where I'm at. Um, yeah, for a cigar. Yeah, so overall, this has been pleasant. I not overpowering not strong just a very nice cigar uh, great construction great leaf I'm guessing the leaf is about five years old yeah so I'm gonna end it in about a minute so yeah I want to get as much of this as I can. Yeah, so in terms of dollar value for this Robusto at $5.95 US, great value. Um, like I said, you don't have to spend a lot to get a good quality cigar. Um, about a half hour burn. Uh, held up well. It's decent. It's pleasant. Uh, I'm in a good place. So, with this cigar. So, overall, I don't know. I don't do ratings on cigars, but overall, if I had to do a 1 out of 10, I give it a solid 8. Uh, JC, I don't know if you're going to watch this video, but I hope you do. Um, I have nothing but high praise for you. So, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm kind of done here, so, with this cigar. So, if you like what you see, just get one more drag. Yeah, like I said, if you like what you see, um, leave a like, leave a comment. I want to hear what you think. Uh, if there's any cigars you think I need to look at um, or look at trying um, yeah leave it in the comments section I'll see if I can find it I'll try it as long as I'm able to find it and that's kind of about it so like subscribe comment I want to know what you think uh, 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 of these cigar videos also have you ever had any cigars from the place I mentioned uh, I'm gonna geotag historic that way uh, if you're ever going to Florida and you want to um, find his uh, cigar shop, by all means, go for it. Uh, the guy, uh, the guy gets needs uh, the guy gets a lot of. I give the guy a lot of credit for what he does. It's an art. It's not like painting or anything, but doing something like this is an art form. So yeah, like I said, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment. I'd like to know what you think. And thank you so much for being a part of my journey uh, in terms of cigar smoking. Uh, anyways, you guys have a good one. It's getting a bit cold, um, so I'm going to go inside my home. If I try any more cigars, I'll give you a shout out. Uh, I'll make sure I try to post it here if I can. Sometimes I don't because I'm very excited to try them. Anyways, you have a good one. Good night. And since St. Patrick's Day is almost close, see, have a happy, safe St. Patrick's Day. Um, and if you're going to drink, 
just enjoy and have fun with it.